What's up guys? Welcome back. So today is a beautiful sunny Tuesday and I woke up with the itch to film this morning. I have a new product. It's very exciting. This was literally on my doorstep this morning. I don't know why the postman didn't knock on my door. Sometimes they do that and they just leave them at the door, which I don't mind because like I prefer as little human contact as possible with strangers, especially when I wake up with my retainers in. If you have Invisalign, you understand. It's like you can't just answer the door with your nighttime Invisalign in. This is the new Benefit Hello Happy Flawless Brightening Foundation that they've just launched. If you guys can see, it's so sunny today. It's making things very bright up in here. And then we also have the Hello Happy Velvet Powder Foundation that they've launched as well. So yeah, really excited for those. I feel like Benefit hasn't really come out with any um, base products in a really long time since their original Hello Happy foundation, which was these little ones here. And I will talk about like the differences between those throughout the video because that one is a really beautiful and lightweight foundation. So I'm really interested to see what the difference is with this one. I don't know if they still have these ones available. Um, I'm not sure if they've discontinued them or they still have them. I really don't know. So I'll look that up um, and I'll leave some info in the description box for you guys. But we're literally just gonna be testing out the new flawless brightening foundation and the velvet powder and just seeing how they go i'm really keen to try these out because i love the original one so yeah that's what we're going to do today guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you do thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and um yeah let's get stuck into testing this out Foundation comes in this little box. So cute. I just love how basic this is. That's what I really loved about the original Hello Happy foundation. It's just like the color of the foundation on the box with a little smiley face. It's so simple. You've got the shade number at the top. I just feel like it's really easy. I hate when I go into like Sephora or Mecca and I'm looking for a shade and you have to kind of open them all up and swatch them and you can't like just gauge from like the box. I feel like they've still kept true to like their typical retro kind of packaging that they do for their products while still making it kind of minimal and just like a little bit more modern. I don't know. I think it's really, really cute. I'm super here for it. You guys know I love pink. I'm obsessed with pink. It's my favorite color. So I love like the little pink accents while still keeping it pretty. I look like Voldemort then. The glass bottle is kind of like frosted too. So it's really, really nice. In here, you get a standard 30 mils and in the original, you get 30 mils as well. So it's supposedly a medium coverage liquid foundation that feels lightweight, looks natural on the skin. It apparently contains a special blend of photochromatic pigments that instantly adapt to brighten skin in any lighting, which that sounds really interesting. It also has flower acids that help boost radiance and it has hyaluronic acid that attracts moisture to the skin surface. Oh yeah. I love hyaluronic acid. This sounds really interesting. I'm actually, I haven't been this interested in a product in a really, really long time. I don't ever read these. I hate reading them. I can't be bothered. Most of the time it'll come as just like a white sheet and it'll just have like boring text, but I don't know what benefit do. Like it's just so pretty. It just makes me like drawn to it. It makes me want to read it. And I think like that's half the fun of makeup, having fun, pretty packaging that just makes you want to use it. It makes you happy. You know what I mean? You don't want to add products and things and stuff and clutter into your life unless it's things that kind of inspire you and make you feel good and happy about yourself. And I feel like that's like the whole thing about makeup is like just making you feel good. Hello, happy. You know what I mean? Like that, it just completely like, encapsules everything fun and just awesome about makeup so i just feel like benefit do that with their packaging so so well so this foundation comes in 12 shades so they have three light shades five medium shades and then four deep shades so i've taken the liberty of popping onto the website really quick looking at it like this you're like eh, it's not too bad it looks pretty balanced but then when you look at like this down here i feel like that's when you can kind of see that it's gonna focus Kind of looks like there's only three really dark shades. And here's what it looks like swatched on different skin tones. So you've got the three light, wait this way, three light, five medium, and the four deep. Overall, 12 shades, not a great foundation range. Um, they all seem to be like more in like the light category. So not amazing. And it also says on the box here that it's meant to be a 12 hour long wear foundation. So medium coverage, 12 hours long wear, 
really hydrating, lightweight, flawless complexion. I'm so excited to try this out. So we're just going to um, gonna get started. That's all the information you guys really need to know, I think. I'm going to jump in with my Touch Up Primer because I just... Silk Canvas is my life. I'm going to zoom you guys in real quick. Is that too zoomed? That's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> so I have three shades of the foundation here. I've got three, four, and five. So I'm just going to swatch them on the side of my face. And we shall see. So in my regular Hello Happy foundation, um, I have the shades four, five, and six. I just don't know where my number five is at the moment. But six is like when I have like a pretty decent tan on. Yeah, I fall within the medium category of the shades i feel like that is like kind of um a bit of a red flag with like the shade kind of system we got going on because if i'm in the middle category and i'm this pale it's like there's some big leaps between each step of shades so judging of these right now i would say three is more like my neck color but the rest of my body is a little bit darker from my fake tan my chest fake tan just never holds very well. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go with four and we'll see what that looks like. Wait, what one's this? Oh fuck, I did three. <laughs> this is four. This is the Huda Beauty uh, Face Sculpt and Shade Brush. I feel like this is a pretty good shade actually. I'm not loving it with that brush. I feel like I'm having to pull on my skin quite a lot to blend it. And like if I had more product in my brush, it would be so fine. But I don't really want to do like a heavy coverage today. So I'm going to jump in with my little sponge that they sent over as well. This is the Hello Happy sponge. Oh, just a good sponge. It's so like smooth and like oh, so much better than a beauty blender. I'm really not, not really about the beauty blender life. I just don't think they're the best sponge so i've just turned down my brightness on my camera um, and i've zoomed you guys in as much as i can so hopefully you can see my actual skin texture and what everything's looking like at the moment my skin's been really really good lately it's just around here that it's getting a little bit funny something irritated it and i'm not sure what that's what the foundation looks like it's actually really beautiful it does look very skin like isn't that sticky to be honest you could probably wear this and not have to set it like it hasn't set down on me just yet it looks so much like skin that like if i was doing like a no makeup kind of day and i just wanted a little bit of like something on my face i would totally wear this um and not set it you can still see like my um like little freckles and like pigmented bits of my skin are showing through um like my little moles and freckles and stuff here and there some little breakouts that i have you can still see like the freckle on my nose here i really like that you can still see my skin showing through you can still see like the flush parts of my cheeks it's just like a more even all over kind of tone to the skin i feel like obviously you could build this up to be more full coverage but this is the kind of coverage that i really love at the moment i don't want too much i really love a medium coverage i'm just gonna use my cover effects concealer this one what's it called power play i saw someone using this today i was like you know what i'm gonna use that too the one thing that's really weird about this sponge is that it's so huge which is like great for covering your face but it's like the size of my palm obviously this isn't wet at the moment but dry beauty blender and this is a wet hello happy sponge it's fucking massive Ugh, this concealer is disgusting. So I ended up adding in a little bit of the Born This Way concealer from Too Faced. Are you filming? Yeah. I'll be quiet then. I forgot you finished early. <laughs> so I am. Yeah, I'm filming, I'm filming with the one that I got this morning. Sweet. I'll leave you to it. Love you. Actually, I got you a little present here. Oh, did you? Yeah, I ended up adding a little bit of the um, Born This Way Too Faced concealer in because that cover effects one's disgusting like that made like my eyes orange hamish just got home from uni so there might be some noises in the back now he said he got me a present I'm waiting for my present i have a few things from the store <laughs> oh, thanks, right. i love you 
cute. <laughs> Amish got me a caramello koala. <laughs> he had his exams today. He has one today and then another one tomorrow and he just got home from his first one. I will say for a foundation that is supposedly hydrating, that's what it says, right? Brightening? I mean, I don't. I can't tell. It says hyaluronic acid keeps skin hydrated. Definitely not dewy. So I'm actually going to add in a little bit of my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist because this is typically what I do on a day when my foundation isn't as dewy as I would like because my skin's very dry these days. Now we're going to try out the Velvet Powder Foundation. So this is, it's basically another um, foundation, but it's just a powder version. So this one says it's buildable, velvety smooth, uh, lightweight, breathe breathable foundation. It's supposed to mattify all day yet feel creamy soft to the touch. It has shea butter extracts um, and it's just meant to be really smooth on the skin. So this is a 12 hour wear as well. It also says it softens the look of fine lines and you can get this in 12 shades as well. So they come in the same shades as the liquid foundation and it's got like a little sponge and stuff in there so it just comes in like the same cute little box and then oh this is cute <gasps> nude i really like this packaging i think that's just so adorable i love anything that's just like all the one color it's so cute this reminds me of poly pockets there's just a little compartment in the bottom here and you can put in your sponge and your brush. I'm not going to use those because I just don't typically use those. I'm just going to use a regular brush and powder my face. So I have the number two shade here, which is what I'm going to use on my face because I like a lighter powder than I do foundation. But if I was going to just use this as a foundation on its own without anything underneath it, um, other than like a primer, I would probably use the shade number six, which I have here. One thing I will say is I haven't noticed any of these products having a smell. Like they're not really scented from what I can tell so far. I feel like it's kind of helped make the foundation not look too dark. I feel like it's matching really well with my neck right now. Not that it was too dark before, but I just really like the color that it's made it. I feel like the number four is almost a little bit pink, whereas number two is really yellow toned. So I feel like it's just a yeah, really good combination. It's not affecting the um, wear of the foundation or anything. It's just adding really beautiful coverage, setting everything down, but it's still a little bit tacky to touch. So it's still like having like that really skin-like beautiful look. Hasn't added any texture to my skin. Like it's not picking up on any dry areas. And yeah, that's one thing I will say about the foundation and this powder is like nothing's clinging to any dry areas. And I'm really dry around here, around my nose and a little bit on my chin lately just because it is winter. Definitely gonna be testing them out um, on their own and just like throughout the week and I'll definitely keep you guys posted on my thoughts. But so far, yeah, really, really like these. I think they're really beautiful. Mmm, I really like that. I think adding a little bit of the Tatcha spray in there as well helped keep um, a little bit more moisture and hydration and just kind of dewiness in the skin before going in and like setting everything down. I was just gonna go off camera and do like the rest of my face, but I was like, why not just do it on camera? I'm just gonna use my Precisely My Brow from Benefit in 3.5 and just fill in my little brow hairs. I feel like this is like the best shade match for my hair right now. It just looks so natural. Like it's probably the best shade match I've ever had for a brow product. And the whole time I just kind of do little hair strokes. And then anytime I think I've done a little bit too much, I just like brush it through. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of my Gimme Brow Plus. This is a newer one. So they had to recall the original one and um, reformulate and bring out a new one, I'm pretty sure, because somebody used it on their eyelashes and they like some shit went down with their eyes. So I'm pretty sure they had to recall the product and make it safe for use around the eyes. This is definitely different to the original one. So the original Gimme Brow just says Gimme Brow and then this one says Gimme Brow Plus. I think I prefer the original. This one's just a lot more like liquidy. But honestly, both are really good. The original just 
maybe it was like a little bit more dry. This is in the shade number four. It's a little bit dark for me. What is going on? One of them's thicker. This one's thicker. That'll do, Donkey. I've been obsessed with the Fenty bronzers recently, so I'm gonna use Shady Biz and Island Ting. Shady Biz first. This one is more of like a contour kind of shade. And I'm gonna use it for just that. I'm just gonna press this into like the hollows of my cheeks. This is what it looks like. It's such a good bronzer. It's like beautiful. Look at that one. Snatched. Not so snatched. Snatched. I eat pizza every day. Snatched. Can I get an ice cream, mom? Oh, it's such a good bronzer. And it's like going on over top of this foundation like a dream. I usually try not to contour my nose too much, but with these Fenty bronzers, I really like running them down the side of my nose. I feel like um, Shady Biz is just like the perfect contouring shade for someone of my skin tone. Like if you're like my skin tone or lighter, I think. And I always like to do a little bit under my jaw too. To get really snatched. Good thing about powder foundations as well, if you have anything left over on your brush and you have like stuffed up your contour or something or you just want everything to like blend a little bit more seamlessly, it's so easy to just like run back over the top of it and just... It's like a little eraser in a sense. I saw Jamie Page do this recently. Get a bronzer and kind of like bring it up like this. And she said it lifts her eyes and her face. So I've been trying it. I don't know if I notice a difference, but honestly, anything Jamie Page says and does, I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm gonna do that. Cause she just looks like a flawless fairy princess. And then I'm gonna jump in with the Island Ting one. So this one is a lot more warm, as you guys can see, and it's a lot darker. But this is beautiful for adding like that really sun-kissed look to the skin. So I'm just going to tap this kind of above where I did that contour. We're just trying to get like that sun-kissed glow. And with my bronzers, I like to put them on the tip of my nose. So contour, I go down the sides. Bronzer, I go actually on my nose. And then I'm going to take some of my love letters from Becca. They're so good. I'm just going to use the opposite end of that brush. So they're kind of like a bronzer and a highlight all in one. So I just kind of mix them around. And then go on like the high points of my face. Look at that. It just adds the most natural like glow from within. It's not like a highlight highlight. You don't look like you've just put like a stripe of highlight. It just looks so natural and so pretty. And then for blush, I'm going to use my Flower Beauty blush. I'm obsessed with this. I feel like I keep saying this about everything. I'm just using like my favorite stuff right now. So this is the Peach Primrose Powder Blush. Oh my god. I feel like I've used this in like my last three YouTube videos now. I can't get enough of it, guys. It's just the best blush. It's going in now a little bit of my Becca Ocean Glow. And just popping this on like my collarbones and my shoulder. This literally makes your skin look like it's wet. And add the littlest bit onto my skin. So on my eyes, I'm gonna go in with Island Ting. I love using this for eyeshadow at the moment. And just on my Sigma E40, that's all that is. Start blending this into the crease and onto the outer corner. And I'm going to be winging it out. I also like to go in with a little bit of... I can never open these. A little bit of Shady Biz because it's a bit lighter. And I just use this to blend the other um, Island Ting's shade. We really are just like throwing it up in here. Like it doesn't have to be perfect. And then on the lower lash line, I'm gonna take my Sigma E36 and just do it on like the outer corner. And blend up into that, the, like the top outer corner. For my lids, I don't wanna do anything like crazy pants today, but I've been wanting to use these shadows for the longest time. So these are NARS Hellcat and NARS Goa, G-O-A. They're really similar. Um, this one's just a bit more green. This is the more muted one. That's the more green one. This one just has like that more green, like it's more of a duo chrome. This is a Sigma E58. I'm just taking that same E40 and then basically diffusing that color all over the lid and into the crease. I'm going to go in with GOA, which is like the more greeny kind of one. And I'm going to place this in the center of the lid. And then with that same brush, just 
blending out the edges really softly. So I just quickly put a pair of lashes on um, and a little bit of eyeliner and stuff. So these are the Farrah Beauty, Farrah Beauty? <laughs> what? These are the Huda Beauty Farrah lashes. They're faux mink. And then where is on my fingers going? I just put a little bit of the uh, Benefit Roller Eyebrow Pencil in my lower waterline. So it's basically just a nude pencil. And then I use a little bit of the Marc Jacobs um spice or spice or something it's a fine liner fine liner why can't i talk to like kind of smudge my top lash line now i'm going to put on a little bit of my Too faced lip injections gloss and i just like to kind of tap over that with my finger obviously wipe it off and this kind of pumps up your lips a little bit love bite from morphe and just give my lips a little bit of an outline top off the lips with the nude lipstick from nude by nature this is the number two nude and i'm just gonna do a little flash test really quick just on my phone there's spf in the original one there's spf 15 and then actually no this one has spf 15 oh my god i'm talking out of my butt okay spf 15 show me what you got <laughs> i look constipated whoa no but it photographs really well with flash like ignore the terrible photo but it looks focus looks really good that's the flash this is no flash this one definitely looks a lot worse plus it's kind of blurry all right well i don't think there's any flashback personally overall really really like this foundation and the powder they both retail for 52 dollars and they are available as of now they launched on the first of july here in australia they're well and truly up on the website for you guys so we'll leave them linked down below in terms of like similarities between the two formulas there's really not too many differences when i was putting it on i was like i couldn't really remember what this little guy was like so i'm going to have to use him again compare the two properly initially i just think that this one is a little bit more lightweight maybe even more skin like looking and just not as full coverage i feel like they're different i don't know are they the same i can't really tell i feel like they're different so if you guys want like a side by side kind of comparison i can definitely do that in the future for you but for now those are my final thoughts on everything really happy with them if you guys like this video definitely give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already head over to my instagram it's just casey right in the same as my youtube and that's where i will keep you guys more up to date on everything if you like this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next one look at that sun thing it's like a it's like an orb um oh God, there's an old, oh, there's a ghost in my house.